everyone and welcome back to our channel my Cubanoid fam if this is your first time in our channel then please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the bell as well so you don't miss any of our videos our channel is all about New Zealand the things to do here and the places to see what it is like to live here as well as random unboxing videos and travel vlogs here and there and speaking of unboxing videos a few months ago i've shared an unboxing video about the brabantia air fryer and on that video someone was asking if i could please show them how to use the air fryer to bake as there was no bake option and honestly i don't know myself because my air fryer doesn't have the bake option as well so i thought this would be a good chance to actually discover how to use your air fryer to bake as i know a few people who uses this for baking although we don't have the similar model of the air fryer or the brand of the air fryer well i could just go ahead and practice how to do it before i decide to make a video and share it to the public but that is not what our channel is all about my goal has always been to make our channel honest and transparent everything is not perfect and it doesn't have to be perfect and that's okay and that is one thing that i am really wanting to change in the culture when it comes to social media I think it can get very toxic when everyone is trying to make everything look perfect making it look like their life is perfect and making feel others like their life is a total mess because it shouldn't be that way we should be using the social media platform to encourage others and to uplift those who are in need of some encouragement right so enough of all the drama going back into the video for today i will be sharing to you guys how to use the brabanta air fryer to bake and we will be making some cheese scones the keto version our ingredients we will be using almond flour you can use either almond flour or almond meal they are the same the only difference is that almond meal tend to be finer as opposed to the almond flour so we will need one cup of this and also one cup of grated cheese it's up to you what type of cheese you use i choose Colby cheese we will also be needing one teaspoon of baking powder and lastly we will be needing a couple of eggs so very simple just a few ingredients and it is also relatively easy and quick to make these keto cheese scones but before we start mixing all of our ingredients just like in any other baking that you do let us preheat our air fryer first i've been thinking about it and i think the closest setting that i can use to bake these cheese scones is the pizza setting however the pizza setting on the brabantia air fryer is just at 180 degrees celsius you need 200 degrees celsius for the cheese scones so let us crank the temperature up and preheat our air fryer right here this is our air fryer so let's turn it on and let's choose the pizza setting again we actually need um 200 degrees celsius so let's go temperature and put it up to 108 sorry 200 and let's bring the time down to 15 minutes from 20. there you go and push the start button twice to preheat so while our air fryer is preheating all we have to do next is to mix all of our ingredients in a bowl ready for them to be cooked in the air fryer
So now our mixture is ready and our air fryer is ready as well. What I'll do first is put a baking paper in the rack of the air fryer so that our scones doesn't stick. Okay guys, so let's put a baking paper in our air fryer. And with our scones, I'll make them slightly on the small side. So you just make them into a sort of a ball. Bang in there and another one. So I'm thinking I'll just do a couple of these in the 200 degrees Celsius in the pizza setting and see how that turns out first before I do the rest because I don't want to be wasting all of my cheese scone batter if in case it doesn't work. So again guys, it's on 200 degrees Celsius, 15 minutes. And let's put it back into um, pizza setting. I don't know what happened there, but it went back to its default setting. Maybe because I'm trying to do the temperature really high. So moment of truth, that's 15 minutes over in 200 degrees Celsius. It, they don't look as brown as I would like it to be, but we better check if they are cooked inside. So here it is, we'll just check if it's cooked inside. Wow, look at that, that's definitely cooked. It doesn't look as brown as your normal scone, but it's definitely cooked. And I suppose we should try it. Some olivani to complement your scones. And moment of truth, let's try it if it's actually cooked. Mm. Well, that's definitely cooked and it's still moist. I actually prefer it being cooked in the air fryer as opposed to when I cooked it in the oven. This feels like um, it's more fluffy and softer. Hmm. It's really good. It doesn't look as brown as it would normally look when it's cooked in the oven. But it's definitely more moist. It's fluffier. It's definitely cooked all the way through. So I'll just go ahead and put the rest of our batter in the air fryer to cook. And that can be my lunch for work for the next days. But before I go ahead and do that, just a tip. So when you're putting a baking paper in your air fryer, just make sure that there are no bits and pieces of the baking paper that are too high and actually catches the top of the air fryer because you will actually burn them. So this was two minutes after I've started the air fryer and I thought I could smell something burning and there it is, it was the baking paper. So that's a lesson learned for me. Okay, so let's just cook some more cheese scones and while they are cooking, I'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy another piece of it because it's definitely good. And here is the rest of our keto cheese scones. I've made them slightly bigger this time. So with that recipe, if you make them um, to the actual size of a normal scone, which is a slightly bigger, even bigger than these, you will get four pieces. But if you make them into smaller ones like this one, you'll be able to get about five to six.
haven't done it yet please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss any of our videos we'll see you on the next one bye bye